bringing the people behind our food to life. At the Farm Your Yard Kitchen Garden Tour, what we're trying to demonstrate to people is a way to integrate food into your gardens, whatever you have available to you, your front yard, your parking strip, your backyard. It doesn't have to be a garden proper. And what we're trying to illustrate is all the different styles. There's a very traditional farm my yard yard that is the front yard of a fabulous young couple, the organs. And then there's the Nana Cardoon garden, which is a teaching garden, and it's just a vast permaculture garden. And then there's my garden, which really is an orchard surrounded by flowering trees and shrubs. And so there's a little bit of every kind of gardening style Farm is a term that, that I use to apply to people who raise food for people. And so it can be quite small. We're an acre and then we farm a half acre of our neighbors. But we've been annexed into the city. So I call myself now an urban farm. Sometimes when people come into our garden, um, we've, we've also made the tour a little smaller here because this is pretty intense. Everything is used here and everything is, is, is loved. We raise our own wheat and make our own bread and grind our own wheat here. And then in the alternate years, because you can't raise wheat every year, we plant garbanzo beans and buckwheat and different things like that here. But it, none of it's irrigated. I can't believe these beans. Um, these three are the Fortex. Really a beautiful bean. We get our seed from Johnny's and it just so long and tender. Mm -hmm. ah. And then the rest from here down are dried beans. Borlati, Tolosa, uh, Gigante de España, um, Tarbe. Behind these beans back uh, is a project that we're doing with Adelante Mujeres. So right now this whole area here is being farmed by the Amaro family. Three children and the mom and dad. And what do they do with this produce? They take it to their, they have two businesses that they take it to. One is a uh, food stand that she has at the market and then they also have a vegetable stand at the market. And this is all in in an urban setting? Yes. Yes, there's so much food comes out of here. Come over here, let me show you some more. He's got kale, um, eggplant, and broccoli growing on a grid. And then he made little furrows diagonal down there. And in the furrows, he threw cilantro seed and spinach seed. And he didn't even cover it up. And they all sprouted, and now they're growing tender and in, in the shade of the other plants. So it's densely packed. Densely. We have used this earth oven, oh, a lot. When was it built? It was built about 10 years ago. Hmm. And then we take the food from here to table. I put a write-up into our brochure that I think really sums up what triggers these events of people growing more and more food in their yards, fruits and vegetables, and it stems back to uh, back in the Depression. You know, people grew what they needed to eat and to sell to get extra cash. They did not have gas money for traveling, so they ate locally, they farmed locally, they created a lot of their own food. And after the Second World War, things changed pretty dramatically. Everyone um, started working more, they had these new homes, and there were new development, which was the supermarket. And as soon as the supermarket went into place and people started buying prepared foods, canned foods, um, frozen foods even, that had been developed during the Second World War, suddenly you were too busy to garden and to make your dinner and to create your own food from your own garden. And it's just has grown so much that now people hardly even know where their food comes from. 
And what we hope to do with this by having people see in place how this works, taste the food, see the chicken, see the egg, see the blueberries, see the plum tree, that they realize this is where food comes from. It doesn't come from a grocery store. It comes from the land. And the land is the thing that we need to take care of. Most importantly, the land and the water together. So that's the biggest thing I think a person can walk away with, a concept, an idea, is wow, if I want a plum, I can grow a plum tree. If I want a blueberry, I can grow a blueberry. I don't have to go to the grocery store. So that's, that's really the most important thing that we hope people learn with this tour.